Well, the next point is about stability analysis in complex plan. And here I recall the form of transfer function as a fractional function. Uh, both numerator and denominator are polynomial. Um, so in the previous uh, part, you already learn uh, the relationship between conversion and poles. When you see, when you have any positive pole, then the exponential term of the solution diverge, which means the system is unstable. Um, okay, uh, because I only give example of uh, transfer function that only have real poles, now I want to give another example that uh, the denominator has complex roots, which means the transfer function has complex poles. Uh, in order to visualize uh, how poles looks like when they are in a complex form. So let me begin with another example. H of S equal to uh, 1 over S square or oh, not S square plus one square and plus one square like this. So we can see that the uh, for the poles we have S one equal to minus 1 minus j so this one is minus p1 and then s2 equal to minus 1 plus j which is minus p2 well for this system um, you can have the solution of the output so again recall the relationship of output input and transfer function um, Then uh, we can have h equal to h of s times u of s and four step response. u of s equal to 1 over s. Then H of S equal to one over minus one minus J oh sorry S plus one plus J S min uh, S plus one minus J Yeah so this one is P one this one is P2 and U of S is 1 over S and then if we do Laplace inverse uh, Subun, do you remember the solution last week? Subun, are you here? Uh, 
Oh, I don't remember. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. So, oh, I don't need. <laughs> okay. So, I guess we need to find it again then. Um, we can. So, first we uh, decompose into canonical form. And if I still remember it well, it's something like this, right? Uh, 2s and minus 1 over 2s uh, plus 1 plus j. And then... Uh, a, B, C. Um, yeah, two here as well, I think. Okay. Um, well, let's call it here is A, here is B, and then here is C s plus 1 minus j uh, to find a first we multiply s a of s equal to uh, oh. a minus b s over s plus p1 minus p s over s plus p2 and then limit s uh, 10 to 0 s a over s equal to a which mean this part will be uh, 1 over oh, let me see. Okay, 1 over s plus 1 square plus 1 Oops. limit s approach to 0 equal to a. So here equal to a equal to 1 half, right? So, yeah. And then I rewrite a of s equal to uh, 1 over 2s plus okay oh sorry this one's plus uh just call it uh, b s plus c over s square now s plus one square plus one <coughs> maybe like this easier then we have uh equal to S square plus two S plus two uh, plus B two B S square plus two C S small capital C over two S okay. <coughs> then we can have one over s s plus one square plus one square like this equal to up here we got the uh, 1 plus 2b uh, square <coughs> plus 
2 plus 2c Yeah. Over two S. Well, maybe uh, it's better to. Oops. I think maybe it take more time. So I think uh, I take this opportunity to show you how to use uh, MATLAB. And okay, so let's use a uh, new live script. Okay, um, so we'll first be defining symbolics. Uh, symbolic T and H. Yeah. Um. We we use the original uh, equation. Original equation uh, in the form of differential equation for this one. Uh. Yeah. So we, because this one is a of s equal to one over s square plus 2s plus 2 then the equation the differential equation is h dot plus 2h dot plus 2h equal to u okay and u is step function step mean just like one okay and so in here we define equation equal to uh, d two h plus d plus 2 times dh plus uh, two time h equal to zero and h of zero equal zero and d h d h of zero equal to zero mm. ah so here is one So h equal to d soul of equation. I think it's uh, initial condition equation conditions. I think the uh, this one is t. Yeah. 
yeah so here is yep yeah. so the solution is like this yeah because it takes time to solve this equation then uh, I just need solution for now so h of t equal to one half minus e to the minus t uh, I see one half here as well e to the minus t over 2 and here is cosine t plus sine t all right so what I want to explain here now is that um, oh, well this one should be um, about stability um, so stability defined by okay by what actually by this term okay so where this term come from yeah actually the exponential term come from here okay come from the the real part of p1 and p2 oh yeah of uh, minus p1 and minus p2 okay defined by the exponential term Yeah, exponential term why because only this one can grow or can die but this one it just oscillate all the time between minus one and this one oscillate between minus one and one this one also oscillate between minus one and one so it it's not going to explode or something then the stability will be defined by this term uh because this coefficient minus one here is from the real part of of p minus p1 and and minus p2 okay let me recall minus p1 is equal to minus 1 minus j and minus p2 is minus 1 plus j so this minus 1 here appear at the exponent minus 1 here okay. so this implies something um, the stability in complex plane okay so in complex plane well so we can draw real axis and imaginary axis for poles and zero so uh, I denote this back as pole uh, sorry this mark as pole and the mark as zero but for our example here there is no zero there are two poles okay one poles is this 
and then the pole is this so you can see that uh, minus one or for the rear part here rear uh, 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 real axis so minus one is here and minus j should be here minus j and then plus j plus j must be here okay so here is one pole here is another pole okay this is the the cross mark represent poles so what i'm trying to show you here is that you all for complex poles you always have complex conjugate once minus j and another one is plus j or for a different system you can have sigma okay plus minus omega omega d j like this always okay so other set of pole let's say other set of minus p c d p4 for a, for a different system okay i just want to say that if they are complex number they must be complex conjugate like this so complex conjugate means they always symmetry with respect to real axis so if you have other complex number you always have a like a mirror yeah okay mirror these two are symmetry i mean yeah with respect to real axis like this always okay because uh omega d plus here omega d j and minus omega d j here okay always symmetry so this come from what uh, yeah actually it come from root of second degree polynomial so you find delta and if delta is negative and then you have plus minus square root of delta right yeah you always have plus minus square root of delta for the root right so here uh, i could say p1 p2 minus b minus plus minus square root of delta over 2a something like that and if delta is negative then you have plus minus j that's why you always have uh, conjugate complex conjugate so let me put here okay and um, then about stability so if you have negative real part so this is real axis positive real part here positive positive okay in the half right plane and negative real part on the left half plane so the vertical axis divide the whole plane into two left and right okay oops okay left and right then stability <coughs> yeah then stability is conclude this way uh, if all the poles 
have negative real part then the system is stable but if any any of the pole has positive real part then the system is unstable Do you have any question? Stop there. Who do you have any question? Lihu, are you here? Yes, Chan. You have any question? Some man, any question? No, teacher. Sitting home? I don't have any questions. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> So, if you don't have question, then I have question for you then. Uh, so, Li Hu, Sam Nang, and uh, Seng Hong. Uh, I'm going to give a transfer function. So, let's say H of S equal to um, 1 over s square minus 2 s plus 2 and my question is is the system stable or unstable Lihu, which one you choose? Um. Is. Which one? It um it's the boy. So Lee who chose here. Uh some lang. Um it an unstable teacher. Sing home? For me, unstable. Um, <clears throat> how about Subun? Uh, I 
passing, it is unstable. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't cause a border because. Uh, come lie. Um, it's unstable. Why? Why it's unstable, come lie? Hmm? Can you give a reason? Yes or no? Uh, can you give the reason? Just answer yes or no? Uh, no. Uh, how about some land? You start uh, with this first. Can you explain why? It is stable, sorry. <laughs> uh, so what you say to here? Samnang, can you tell the reason why? Um, so can I get a try? Uh, Kamla, you want to try? Yes, um, I, um, I want to change my answer to uh, stable because, um, Oh, you change? The, you change from here to here too? Be, because it has roots and it um, doesn't go to infinity. So you say this has root but not go to infinity? Yes, it's, um, it's, <coughs> Okay, that's your answer. So, how about the man? What is your reason? So, man, can you tell the reason? You say yes or no? If you say yes, you explain. Um, no, teacher. Sir Hong, can you tell the reason? Yeah, because uh, I calculate uh, equation, so I, I see it's uh, in unstable. But I don't know if it's correct or not. No, I, I, I'm asking the reason why you can conclude that it is unstable. What? Yeah, yes, of course, because I, I calculate uh, equation, so... Calculate what? It, uh, calculate what? Equation that uh, you, you put it... Uh, calculate to find what? To find uh, something uh, of road. What is something? I, I try to find road, right? A uh, road. So what? Yes. Then what? Uh, what happened with the road? I saw it um, positive. Yeah, so, so S1 equal to? Uh, sorry. Uh, one one, uh, minus, one minus uh and 1 plus j, right? Of course. And then why you conclude, conclude that uh, the system is unstable when you see the root of the... Yeah, because we say this is the pole. The root of denominator is called poles. So from from this, uh, why you conclude that the system is unstable? <clears throat> you almost get uh, the right answer, Sai Hong. You almost there. So if I'm going to give a score, I will give subordinate blind negative score because you check from the correct to the wrong. <laughs> no, I was just testing it. 
What? Uh, because because the real part of the root is uh, positive. Yeah. So, okay. Thank you that you uh, test your friend. You. <laughs> so could I jump from here to there because of you? No, I was thinking that it's stable. <laughs> <laughs> But then I use the. <laughs> yeah, so Sri Hong and Subun, you are right <clears throat> because the real part of the root of the poles is positive. It's positive, so the exponential of positive uh, number k okay, here will explode. You know, diverge. Uh, you can say, yeah. You if you you visualize, you visualize the roots. It will be here. So one is here. One is okay. So one here, and then uh, J is here minus J is here. Yeah, this is imaginary axis, and here is real axis. So on this right half plane, right half plane, the response is unstable. Okay, this left half plane. Response is stable. So is it clear now, Li Hua? Yeah, it's clear. Right. So what else should I explain here? Okay. <clears throat> um, I uh, give another example. How about the system? Oh no. Um. Is it stable or unstable? So this time I ask all the student. Let me. Okay, start from Sering Hong again. Stable or unstable? Give, can you give me some space to calculate uh, equation? No, uh, I, uh, there's no time because it takes so much time to calculate this. Oh, so so I can I I, I choose a stable. Okay, staying home. Come lie. So wait, um, the wing symbol left. Hmm? You want to find the root first? Yes.
uh, what tools are you using to find the rules? I'm using Symbol Lab. It's not going to take so much time. No, but uh, I want you to guess now. Um, I think it's. I think it's unstable. Okay. So how? I'm not finished the calculation, but I think it's unstable. Could I change my answer because uh, I try to calculate a Wait. prediction? No, no you, you, you are not allowed to change for now. <laughs> because I, I want, just want you to guess. I don't want you to calculate the rules. Because I have the reason uh, uh, to let... Uh, yeah, because you don't need to calculate the rule actually. But first, I just want you to guess. And some now? Mm, I think it's step or teacher. Subun. It is unstable. Lihua. Uh, I think it's it unstable. Only one. I cannot hear you. You can write in the chart. Molika. Um, I think it's unstable. Molika, okay. Um, Muni Van, I cannot hear you. So have you? You choose unstable also. Uh, Muni Van here. So can anyone tell the reason why it is unstable? Yeah, even though you guess, maybe somehow you have a, a little clue. So in here, so when you, uh, you sounds very confident, very convincing that uh, the system unstable. Can you explain why? You mm, all the roads are still. All the roads are positive. Yeah. Because you already found the roads. <clears throat> yes, sir. <laughs> well, <clears throat> um, actually, this system, I, I don't need to calculate the route, and I know that it's unstable. When you see any coefficient of the S are negative, then at least there is one positive root. Yeah. And then the system is unstable. So, yeah, if uh, the first condition that the root, the, uh, the real part of the root are negative, okay, the first condition is that all the coefficients must be positive. And then there are more conditions uh, to follow. Actually, we we have uh, one criterion, so called who with who with criterion. So I'm not uh, explaining uh, the how uh, how can we get all the who with conditions. Well, I I'm sorry, I don't know how to write this word correctly well maybe i can check a moment who with who with yeah who with uh, this one a u r with
yeah who with condition to have all poles all poles having negative real part okay. so i'm not going to give the full condition just tell you uh, you can search for the information by yourself there are a lot of information in the internet but but anyway the first condition of who read is that all the coefficient of the polynomial all must be positive that's why i can see immediately that the, the system is unstable so unstable Uh, that's why when when you see the the second order uh, s square minus two s plus two like this, uh, because this one is negative, then for sure at least one of the roots has positive real part. But for specifically for this for this polynomial, both poles have. Uh, positive real part <coughs> well um, so it's time now for this lecture uh, we need to end here Okay, so take a break for five minutes before I start another lecture. <laughs>